What's up everybody? <clears throat> I just wanted to make a quick video showing my Ender 3 V2 print farm. I got uh, 12 printers here on the rack. Actually got one on the floor there. But yeah, just wanted to show these real quick. I numbered them 1 through 12. And uh, I run Hatchbox, which is a really good filament. I was using Filicube, and I'm I'm in Houston, Texas, so Filicube's a local company. But I gotta say, man, their customer service really wasn't that great. And then the the diameter of the filament was not what they said it was, and it wasn't good enough for my prints. So some colors, though, Hatchbox doesn't have which like this ultraviolet it's a nice purple color uh, so I have to use them until I find another but yeah I try to stay away from it and just run strictly hatchbox these printers are pretty good I got these for on Amazon for $270 I don't like to run the spool up top because it just creates a really nasty bend and sometimes it gets caught up. I know you can print some guides or whatever, but I just don't want to fool with it. So I have 12 down here and then I have uh, seven in the spare bedroom. I couldn't run all of them here because it flips my circuit breaker, which I need to upgrade that. Uh, the reason why I chose the Ender 3 is because, for one, it's cheap. Uh, two, it's a pretty well-known printer. And uh, you can find all kinds of information out there. And then, uh, also, I picked up a lot of these from a resale shop. I guess that buys Amazon returns. And uh, they had eight of these, so I picked them up for $115 each. So... That just kind of further built up my little print farm. And what I'm printing here is I make these trading card stands. Which you can just put a card in there. And they stand up like that for you to display. Different colors, sizes. For those of you that are familiar with it. SGC, HGA, I got horizontals, uh, magnetics, PSA, BGS, more magnetics, horizontals, I have CGC, and this is where I keep all my filament down here, and then my shipping supplies, and then any spare filament, I keep it in a bin with uh, desiccants. This is my little work area where I um, fulfill my orders, just try to keep everything on track. I'm doing everything out of my garage right now. Um, it's, it's a standard size 20 by 20 garage, so I definitely need to upgrade uh, and get a bigger space. I don't know if I should rent something or, but I mean that's further down the line. But I've been doing this for about three months, and I am busy as hell. I have my full-time uh, day job that I work long hours, and then I come home and package, set prints. I mean, it's it's a lot of work, but thankfully I have my brothers that live close by. They always lend a hand. So uh, if you want to check out my website, it's collect3dprints.com. You can see the products that we have there. And I'm working on new things. I'm working on uh, more than just these trading card stands. And uh, yeah, just subscribe if you want to, you know, uh, just keep up with any updates that I have. I'm trying to figure out, you know, uh, how to structure uh, the kind of content that I want to make. I do want to make some content for the 3d printing community just to kind of give an example of you know what you can do what you can start from i started with just one printer and an idea 
and then tinkered around with Fusion 360 and then now I'm getting, you know, I'm selling pretty much several hundred or I'm actually almost 2,000 cases now sold in the past three months. So, uh, you know, the old saying, if I can do it, anybody else can. So I just want to help others that have really good ideas and just show you what I'm doing so you can kind of get uh, a sense of, you know, the, the, the process that I have gone through. So is once I I'm trying to try to write down some uh, ideas for videos and just stuff that that will help you to build a farm or that will help you to actually get your idea fr from your mind to something that you can actually produce. Uh, there's a lot of content out there for reviews and for how to install a BL Touch or whatever. I, I'm not really trying to do all that. I just want to make something that you can watch and you can say, hey, I can do that, you know, and, and just run with it. I want to give people the tools or the validation that you don't really need anything other than just an idea and maybe a few hundred bucks to get started. So anyway, stay tuned. I'll be making videos as I can. I mean, I'm sure the videos are going to suck from at the very beginning, but it is what it is. I'm just going to try to put something out there. Anyways, I won't ramble on for too long. Thanks for watching.